$7 trillion is about to get poured into one specific area, and most investors aren't even looking at the whole picture. McKinsey states that data center infrastructure will grow between 14 and 23% a year over the next five years. This is the biggest physical build-out since probably the railroad was booming, and it's happening behind all of the headlines. Of course, everyone is watching NVIDIA's stock price, but almost nobody pays attention to the buildings that are going up behind it, and that's where the real story begins. People are asking where all of these NVIDIA GPUs are actually going, and the answer isn't a mystery. They're all being packed into these massive data centers that are built to run AI models around the clock. But most people never see that part of the industry, so they have no idea why the build-out is exploding. Even Bill Gates said that AI is the biggest technological shift of his lifetime. And I've seen this firsthand because I used to work on machine learning models for Amazon when I worked on their pricing models, and that was long before this was ever mainstream. My point is that AI is not speculative, but I do believe that it is completely misunderstood. It's already replacing entire chunks of work, and it's coordinating fleets of robots in logistics and manufacturing. Now, data centers aren't these little server rooms. These buildings stretch the size of football fields, and some use more electricity in a year than the entire state of Alaska. And inside, you've got hundreds of millions, possibly even billions of dollars worth of hardware that has to stay powered, cooled, and connected every second of the day, or the whole system just falls apart. Goldman Sachs expects data center power demand to jump 165% by 2030. And if power demand grows that fast, something has to build and fuel the grid behind it. That's why I covered nuclear stocks a few weeks ago, and of course several times over the past two years. Because AI doesn't run without massive, stable electricity. Now here's where that $7 trillion actually goes. 